hello guys you are welcome to my kitchen my name is Mercy, and today i will show you how i made this delicious or her soup without or her leaf and cocoa yam this soup is tasty very much like the traditional or her soup if this is the first time you have seen this channel you are highly welcome and please consider to subscribe because i'll be sharing recipes like this every week and for my returning subscribers you are highly welcome so let's jump into the recipe now i have the meat i've added the seasoning and salt so i'm going ahead now to add the stock fish and pepper i'm going to use for this food for this soup i'm using only one pepper because the scotch bonnet pepper is very very spicy so adding more might make the soup to be over spicy and i don't want that so i'll let the meat and this um stuff is to cook for about 30 to 40 minutes to get to this stage now so right now i'll go ahead to add the smoked turkey that i'm using for this recipe inside the pot because this turkey is not as tough as the beef so while the chicken while the turkey and the beef is cooking i'll go ahead to blend the oats that I'm going to replace cocoa with. So in the oat, I'm adding my Ozisa seeds to blend them together. Remember, you can use ogre for this soup, or you can use Ozisa leaf. But this is what I have at the moment, so I'm going to make do with what I have. So I will blend everything together to powder. Right now, I'm adding my dry fish inside the pot then i add water and my vegetable oil my palm oil and then i let it boil for some minutes then i'll go ahead and add my crayfish inside the pot so i will stir it right now the meat and the smoked turkey is cooked the soup is almost half ready so i'm adding my oats my grounded oats into the soup if you're using cocoa yam or any other thickener this is the right time to add it so after adding i will turn it and let it cook so that everything will dissolve and blend together So remember I have to be turning it at interval to make sure that um, the soup doesn't get burnt and at this point the soup has become very thick because oat powder has a very high tendency of thickening food so I'll go ahead and add some hot water into the soup to lighten it up. So after adding the water, I will stir it and also let it boil. While it's boiling, I'm getting my spinach ready. Yeah, the baby spinach is what I'm using to replace or her. It's not like spinach tastes like your hair, but with other ingredients like the stockfish, the medusas, and the oat powder, it gives you that feel of a hair soup. It's not like it's the exact or hair recipe, but this is very, very close enough to the traditional or her soup recipe so after adding the spinach i will turn it i'm not going to let it boil for so long because the heat in the pot is going to cook the spinach so this is the soup if you like what you see here please kindly like subscribe to this channel and thank you very much for watching